Good morning and welcome back to the Amputee Angler. Um, we are just out on the boat, as you can probably tell. And we have an absolutely beautiful sky behind us. Wow, it's absolutely stunning. Um, up, we're gonna do a bit of luring today and we've got a float out with a prawn as well. Um, said to Ellie last night, my, my PTSD has been playing up the last few days, well, for a while actually. And I was sat at home about, about nine o'clock and I said, oh, I'm gonna go and start getting bait early. Um, so I went down, uh, went down the harbour and picked up some lovely jumbo prawns. Let's show you these now. Picked up some absolutely, uh, absolutely stunning jumbo. <laughs> Literally, they are jump. They are jumbos. Um, if you're fishing for prawns or you got uh, little pouts for live baiting and whatever, get yourself one of these little nets. They're about three quid off Amazon. They're nothing, but they make getting them out of the bucket a lot easier. Um, yeah, so we've got a got a float out and uh, at a minute just bobbing in front of us, and uh, I'm going to throw a lure out now. A little slight subsurface, and uh, yeah, see if we can pick up a few early morning bass. Just gonna hang about back of the wall now, a little reef, and then we're gonna push on to a bit further down under the cliffs for a little bit and just have a little play about, see what we can catch. Hopefully we can get a bass. Put a little uh, top water lure on now. This one sits right on the top. I'm going to attempt to do what they call walk the dog. Now that's not actually walking the dog. It's a terminology for lure fishing. And what you do is you let your lure, lure hit the surface of the water, and you actually keep a little bit of slack line in the in the top of the line, and you make little flicky movements with the rod tip. And what it does is it makes the the lure dart side to side really erratically and it can make the bass go wild. in a big swirl over there. Massive shoulder birds working. See if we can get something here. My float's got a tangle up on it, but uh, come on. Oh, they're everywhere.
Fish on, guys. Fish on. Oh, that took that. That took that. Fish on. Oh, hammer that. It's not a big one, it's not a big one, but it's a fish. There's bass everywhere, it's jumping everywhere this morning. Yeah, that's nailed that. There we go. Little babby. That's what it took. Swallow that right down here. There we go. We've had plenty of these little ones now. But it is good fun. They're everywhere as well. But he's going to go back. I'll see if I can get the footage for you. And there we go. No worries. Straight back down. Let's get some more, shall we? We have got the float out with a prawn, which is not being touched. Um, but it is what it is. That's all I'm doing, just casting it out and it's an ever so slow retrieve. Man, I'm watching her. I'm literally watching them, watching them follow the bait all the way to the boat and they're not having it. Only small ones, they're nothing big. Let's watch a couple of schoolies follow it right to the boat. There'll be some bigger ones down there somewhere. metal now we'll try a savage gear seeker just to get a bit more distance in it the, the bass are sometimes a bit further away from me so let's really pump that one but Man, I thought they would have been smashing the prawns this morning, but they're not touching them. Now, all I'm doing here now is I've just trotted it down the back of the boat there. The bail arm's off. And all I'm going to do is just let that peel line off and that then basically the boat drifts faster than the uh, than the float does. So we'll be moving down the ground and the bait will be dragging behind us. But it's not going to be dragging to the point where it's going to be tilting the float and making the bait look unnatural. The bail arm basically is off and it's just going to peel line off. And then that can do its own little thing and that allows me then to, to fish with my lures. And then what will happen is when you get a bite, all it's going to do is the float will either start skiing off sideways or it will go straight under. Uh, but what this allows me to do in the meantime is fish my lures and we've moved slightly along the coast look how nice this is today it doesn't get any better than this for an early morning sunrise 
fish and now a lovely calm morning. Hopefully we can get something of size though, eh? Something decent, that'd be nice. This is my float set up. So we've got a little uh, 56 gram float there. We've got a bead above it and we've just done a stop knot. Uh, just with a bit of fluorocarbon just above. And then we've got a little uh, clip swivel there. Followed by a length of rubbing lead out with a little ball weight. And then obviously ending a swivel. And then that goes to a length of fluoro. And then we've got a lovely prawn on the end. And that is a Cox and Rule size uh, 4.0 Mutsu circle hook. And then all we're going to do, like I said, we're just going to flick it out. Get it away from the boat, let some line off. And then we'll leave the bow arm off. And then I can carry on peeling away from the boat then. And then what that does is lets the bait trot down the tide and it's not sit right on top of the uh, of all the boat noise. It's away from it a little bit. But uh, it hasn't been touched yet, that prawn. I thought we would have had something on the prawns by now. I've got a mark I fished down Berlin Gap and you put a prawn down there, it's, it's done. Three, four pound bass all day long and it's not even had a touch today. Um, and when we are only at 11, 12 foot of water, I might need to shallow it up a little bit, but uh, yeah, nothing on the prawns yet. And they're normally, they're normally what you call cheating. Um, it's that, that guaranteed for fish, but uh, never mind. Keep going. Fish on. So long way at the back of the boat. I was just, uh, I was just moving to a new mark and I thought I'd put the, just troll the lure behind the boat. It's not something I do very often. I had some old line on it. I wanted to strip right off to get like, you know, get it right out and then wind it back on tight. And the rod just arched over. Not big. I think it's big anyway. The initial lunge was massive. But we're going three knots. <laughs> so something hits it at speed, which bass do at three knots. Then it's going to lunge over, isn't it? Well, there we go, another fish though. <laughs> Lord <of> line out. <laughs> you can't, when you're trolling, you can't have the lure too close to the boat because the noise of the engine and the boat, it just disturbs them. So. So I did have a lot of line out. But well, it's coming in slowly. So I don't think it's a big fish. But it's staying down. I know it's not big, so I can feel it's not big, but hopefully it's. It's woken up again. Now it's in the boat, it's woken up. There we go. There we go. Now, well, I don't think he's quite sizable. but we'll have a look. We're measuring, mate. He's going to go back anyway, but we'll have a look. There we go. Boat's going. Finally. Fish on. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. <laughs> I'm just doing my lures there and I sort of I sort of float bob under. We're finally in a nice little spot here. All more up, I thought the prawns would have been going mental today, but nothing. And then just come onto a lovely bit of reef. And as we got around the corner of a little bit of mark on here, it's just a, a float just sailed away. It's only a small one again. They do go though, they do go. You can 
can see that down there. Comes. Golf that brawn, engulfed it. Come here, you. There we go, another one. That's a better one. There we go. Another one here, just beyond that one. But there's the, uh, there's a circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Can't beat circle hooks for this sort of fishing, or most fishing to be fair, look at that. At, he was never getting away there, never. Absolutely perfect hold. Put this one back. This one be just under this one. There he goes. Perfect. Right, we're still over a nice bit of reef ground here, so what I'm gonna do. Is I'm just going to bait up again. There's the bait, lovely little prawn. And then all I'm going to do with this, there's no, I'll tell you what, I like lure fishing. I don't, sorry, let's talk to the camera. Um, I like lure fishing, but there's nothing better than seeing a float slide away on a mill, mill pond day. Absolutely nothing better. You know, that's what I'm doing, just hooking the prawn once for the tail, keeping the point exposed. And all I will do is I'll just flick that in. We're on, a, we're on a bit of reef here now. We'll have to move in a minute. And all I'm going to do is just flick that away from the boat. And like I said, I leave the bail arm off. And we're good to go. Boat's got again. Ah, that will teach me. The float sailed away flew away and I'll turn the camera on before I struck the fish. I'm trying to, the amount of fish I lose trying to film these things. And he's had my bait away look. All right, found a little patch here. See where we are now, possibly. Basically, there's a little outfall pipe just there. And the bass, the tide's coming in. So the tide's flowing that way, as in east. And the bass are tucked in, in, the, in the eddy behind it. So what we're trying to do is put our bait bang in that eddy. Pretty much about there. That there is about as good a cast as you're gonna get. So yeah, so there's the, uh, where are we going there? There's the little uh, outfall bit. And the tide is coming this way and the fish are in the lee of it. It is hot, hot. Right, let's put a lure in there. A light lure this
get it to win it with this one. We are getting close to that structure. In it to win it. I'll just fall in a second. Float can stay out, I'll just bring it round to the port. Well, that's the end of another session with the Amity Angler out on the boat. Just a short, sharp bass session today. We had quite a few bass. We had them on the float fish prawns, we had them on the subsurface cast and retrieve, and we had them on the subsurface trolled. So three different ways of catching bass there, and we had bass on every single one of them, so that was good. No real monsters, we did have a couple of keepers, and we put, put I think, three or four keepers back, um, but we've kept one for our next door neighbour, keep him happy. Uh, and that's it really, but not sure when we'll be out again. Weather goes a little bit touchy up and down now, but I've got a few videos to edit and put out anyway, so hopefully you'll see them at some point. But thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe. We're very nearly at 500 now. And I'd love to make that a 1,000. So the only way we're going to get this channel out there uh, is by people like yourselves sharing it, liking it, and every little like and comment really helps. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you all soon.